Hi guys, Ash here. And in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to flash a stock firmware onto your phone. So this tutorial is applicable to uh, the Samsung Galaxy S3, uh, the Galaxy Note, and the Galaxy S2. And these are the three phones that I've used this method with. It might work with other Galaxy phones. Uh, I've not tested it myself, but these are the three that I've tested. And I've tried, I've used, I use the international versions of these phones, but I know that they do work with the uh, other variants as well. All right, uh, okay, the reasons why you would flash a stock firmware manually from the PC. Uh, one, if you wanna unroot your phone. Two, uh, if there are some issues that you're facing and you wanna, ref somebody tells you to reflash firmware and check out whether the issues are getting resolved. Or three, some new updates to firmwares are released re region-wise and uh, say you've not gotten the update in your region, say the uh, say Jelly Bean gets released and it, it's not available in your region and you're getting it from a different region. Uh, in that case, you need to manually download the firmware onto your PC and flash it using this method. All right. Okay, so how, how do we do it? The first thing you need to do, guys, is get Samsung keys downloaded. Just Google for it, get the first link, Samsung keys, download it, install it onto your computer. Uh, this will get the drivers set up. All right, guys, uh, the first thing you need to do is hit link one and download this file. Uh, called Odin, all right? It'll be a zip file extracted and you will get these two files, Odin3 uh, v1.85.exe and the INI file. Right click on it and run it as administrator. So leave it as it is. So the next thing you do is you head on over to Sam, this is link to sammobile.com. All right, guys, once uh, you're in sammobile.com, you just hit firmware, hit firmwares and files. Now scroll down and select it as smartphone, Android, and select your model over here, guys, uh, Galaxy S2 or the Galaxy Note or the Galaxy S3. Uh, it should work with uh, some of the phones. Like I said, I'm, I've not tested it out myself, so minus GTI 9300. So guys, uh, the internal, I mean the international version of the S3 is GT i9300. The international version of the Galaxy Note is GT N7000. And the international version of the Galaxy S2 is GT i9100. All right, uh, I'm not sure about the other versions. I, I'm sure you can find out uh, what your version is and just get it selected. So say I'm going for Galaxy S3. Now over here you select your country and carrier. So, uh, India, that's uh, selected it and hit send. So over here, you'll see the latest uh, firmwares that you have. So LFB, LF2, LEF, LE8. So all what you do here is hit download. It'll go to the hot file side. You can, down uh, you can download it from there. And uh, it, it'll ask you to create a, a user ID, guys, before it gives you the download link. Just go ahead, create one. Two minutes, just get it done. So once you've downloaded it, right click on Odin and uh, run as administrator, you'll get it. So guys, with the Galaxy Note or the S3 or the S2, it's the same procedure. You need to get your phone and hold the power, up volume, I mean down volume, and the home buttons at the same time. Just keep holding it and you uh, your phone will go to the download mode. All right, so over here, hit volume up to continue. And this is the screen you need to be at. Downloading, do not turn off target. So this is the same thing you're gonna get from the S2 or the uh, Galaxy Note. So just to show you, down volume, power and home on the Galaxy Note. Same screen, volume up to continue, and downloading the S3 and the Note. And I, I don't have an S2 handy right now, I mean that will definitely show you the same thing. All right, so uh, what we do here guys is connect a micro USB cable to the phone.
So once you do this, you'll see this yellow, the yellow, yellow color over here, whatever. And right now, make sure repartition is not checked. Just uh, leave it as it is, auto reboot and F reset time are the only things that are checked. So right now, click on uh, PDA and navigate to wherever it is that you've downloaded the files. Okay. So guys, again, uh, just to show you, so the downloaded file will be in the form of a zip file. So once you extract it, uh, you will get a .tar.md5 file. Okay, or just a .tar file. So leave it as a .tar file, do not extract it further. And uh, select the .tar file under PDA. All right guys, at times uh, you might get uh, three files over here when you unzip the firmware. Instead of one .tar file, you might get three files. And those three files will be like this. One would say code, one would say modem, and another one would have CSC on it. So uh, click PDA and select the, the code file or whichever is the biggest. Uh, under phone, you will select modem and under CSC, you will, get, you will select CSC. All right. So uh, once again, uh, thanks to uh, Dr. Kaden from uh, XDA developers for this, uh, for this uh, picture. Anyway, so once you've selected it and your phone is in a download mode, all you need to do is just hit start. So at this point guys, uh, the phone will do its thing, you will go, it'll go ahead, uh, the flashing will happen over here and once it's done, uh, you'll get a pass over here. Till then just wait, it might say not responding initially, don't worry about it. And if, it by, if it by any chance you get a red fail over here, just go ahead, reboot your system once and reinstall Samsung keys, reboot it again and then go ahead and do it and it should work. Again, you can also try different USB ports. If, it, if you still, still keep getting a fail message over here, go ahead, try it on a different PC and it'll work. So don't worry about it. If there are any issues, you can always leave it in the comment section, guys. Uh, and I will get back to you. So guys, now that the phone is, uh, you know, getting flashed, uh, just go ahead and uh, if you're in full screen mode, come back to windowed mode. You're back on windowed. I'm waiting. All right, great. Now that you're on windowed mode, you see the subscribe button on top? Go ahead, click it. And then give me a thumbs up. <laughs> I'm just messing with you guys. Just wait. I'll be back with you once uh, the flashing is done. All right, it's done and the phone will be rebooting now. Just wait for it. Once it's done, once the process is done, the phone will reboot by itself. I mean, at this point, you can actually disconnect the cable, no issues. So guys, like I'm facing an issue right now, sometimes if you're coming from a rooted ROM, you might get these issues. Uh, the process has stopped and so on. So don't be, uh, don't be alarmed if you face any of these issues. All you need to do right now is just uh, press up volume, power, and the home buttons right now. This time up volume, all right? If and only if you run into any issues after you flash the stock ROM. And let the keys go once you see your phone's name displayed. Again, applicable to the S2, the Note, and uh, the S3. So right now, this is the screen you will land on for all three phones. You just go down, do a wipe data factory reset. Wipe cache partition 
and go ahead hit reboot system now. So they are phones back up, everything's on stock. So that's pretty much it guys when it comes to uh, flashing stock ROMs onto your S3, S2 or the Note. Uh, and if you guys are already subscribed to me, you would have seen this method in some other video of mine. But uh, I don't, you know, I know it can, this video is kind of redundant if you're subscribed to me. But guys, the thing is, I've, uh, I get questions from various people, you know, on how to actually root, the, I mean, how to actually unroot the phone or how to actually flash stock firmware. Uh, or people, you know, especially for the Galaxy Note, people who don't have the ICS update uh, from Gingerbread asking me how to update to ICS. So, uh, you know, <laughs> this video is for those, for those people. Uh, I didn't want to redirect them to my unroot videos anymore, so I just wanted to make one explaining how to get stock firmware and how to actually flash it. Uh, so anyway guys, uh, if you aren't a subscriber yet, go ahead, hit the subscribe button and hit like while you're at it. Uh, if you guys do run into any issues, uh, if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section or hit me up on Facebook or Twitter or you can even email me directly all my contact details are in the description so uh, and guys if you do want to do me a favor use my links in the description to Amazon uh, if there's anything that you want to purchase online not necessarily smartphone related stuff if there's anything you can purchase online just go through my link to Am Amazon uh, use the search bar in Amazon just search for whatever you want and buy it if you go through my link and you place an order I tend to make a few cents to a few bucks so that is if you guys do want to help me out so uh, then again guys uh, that's pretty much it thanks a lot for watching I hope I uh, hope you guys like the video and uh, I'll see you guys soon till then you guys have a great day bye bye now